Okay, this is Bill Apter. We're at the Jersey City Armory, and we're speaking here with Big Gorilla Monsoon. How are you feeling, Gorilla? Well, pretty good, Bill. I got a little bit of a cold like everybody else. Like everybody else. I'm going to catch one now, I guess, Just from the about. microphone. Why, certainly, why not? Okay, at Madison Square Garden, two matches. First of all, you're going to be taking on Mike Moose Monroe, who's uh, close to your size, not too far away. What's your reaction to wrestling Monroe? Well, Moose is a big boy, a big, strong boy. Uh, could be trouble, but I, I believe that he doesn't have enough experience to really give me a really bad time. Okay, now the main event at the Garden, Pedro Morales is going to take Stan Stasiak on. And the interesting thing about this is a Texas death match, which Stasiak knows all about and Pedro doesn't know too much about. Have you been working with him on this? Well, Pedro at the outset knew literally nothing about a Texas death match because he'd never been in one. Mm -hmm. But I've been in uh, as many hairs as you have on your head. That's how many Texas death matches I've been in. And uh, I've been in there with some of the best, the, uh, the San Martinos, the Kowalskis, uh, the Bill Millers, uh, you name them. I've been in there with them in Texas death matches. And I think over the past four weeks, he's absorbed quite a bit of just what a Texas death match is all about. And uh, I'm not predicting an easy victory for Morales. In fact, I'm not predicting a victory for either one of them. Uh, this is going to be uh, one of the sort of back alley, knock down, drag out type affairs. And at this kind of a match, uh, anybody can win. Okay, now the Grand Wizard has stated both on television and to us that Stasiak was not cut in that match, and yet Stasiak maintains a cut on the right side of his head, which it says is uh, a personal cut that Stan got personally. Well, I have pictures that were taken in the dressing room uh, following the match, right. and it's quite evident that uh, he was cut during the match. And uh, while you're talking about the wizard, uh, I don't put too much stock in anything the wizard says. I believe he's probably one of the greatest walking advertisements for birth control I've ever oh. seen. That's the best I've heard that put in a long time. Well, that's the way I feel about the, the, the fellow, and uh, I think that uh, Stasiak would probably be better off without him because he is a, a great athlete. He has all the potential, all the experience, and uh, he could easily become the next world champion. There's no question about that. But uh, I think that the wizard is a detriment to Stasiak instead of an asset. Well, in that case, what makes a wrestler, for example, in your case, like Pedro Morales, what makes a wrestler hook up with a manager? Well, uh, like what makes St made Stan Stasiak hook up with the wizard? Well, the wizard probably painted a nice rosy picture for him. As you know, the, the wizard is a little bit of a, a golden throated uh, mm -hmm. type of individual and uh, he can con you pretty good. And he probably did a pretty good snow job on Stasiak. Promising him the world. Sure. And uh, the only reason that, uh, that Pedro took me as a manager is because he, he realizes where I've been and what I've been and who I've been with and that the information that I have inside me is valuable to him. I don't believe that, uh, that Stasiak is going to get one bit of useful information from the wizard as far as uh, once the bell rings and you step through those ropes. But he may be able to talk a little bit better when That's he gets... true. He sure can talk and agitate. There's no question about that. He might even be able to get him some good bookings. Uh, but that's where it ends. Right. Okay, Gorilla, want to thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. We'll be looking forward to seeing you against Monroe and Pedro against Stasiak right. at the Garden. Thank you.